Got another bomb. Oh, my goodness. I love playing these bombs. Another bomb from the Mr. DJ Fowl from Billboard's Hot 100 the week of September 5th, 1964. To put all this in perspective, I know I've read to you the top five hits of, of Billboard the week of September 5th, 1964. Let me go ahead and just read to you the top ten hits. A little GTO by Ronnie and the Daytonas at number 10, up from 15. How do you do it? Jerry and the Pacemakers, one of the scintillating British Invasion classics at number 9. Former number 1 in Britain, I believe, back in 1963, Hard Day's Night. One, oh, God, it's one of the best rock and roll records that ever came out. There'll never be another Beatles. I mean... Just, just gonna have, we're just gonna have to get over it. There'll never be another Beatles at number eight, down from number four, under the boardwalk by the Drifters at number seven, down from six, bread and butter by the New Beats at number six, up from number nine, and come on and swim by Bobby Freeman. I might want to do that one because that is such an obscure record now, although it was huge. And at number four, because by the Dave Clark Five. Number three, Dean Martin, Everybody Loves Somebody. Where Did Our Love Go by the Supremes at number two. And at number one, House of the Rising Sun by the Animals. And we're going to climb down to the bottom rungs of Billboard's Hot 100 to number 97. At number 97, a soulful gospel-inflected tune by the Wallace Brothers called Lover's Prayer. On Billboard's Hot 100 for three weeks, back in the summer of 1964, I did. They're so obscure, but I managed to get a little bit of information on the Wallace Brothers. They're from Atlanta, Georgia. Their music, their their vocals tend to be raw, unsophisticated, just right there. But they make they make up for their lack of sophistication by the intensity they. The, the emotion that they put into their lyrics and it's just and that's part of the charm of their sound the Wallace Brothers Wallace Brothers consisted of cousins Johnny Simon and Urban Wallace they attended the Archer High School this was in Atlanta Georgia they were on a label called the Royal record label their Royal Le record label I believe was based in Atlanta according to uh, the source that I dug out the information on the Wallace Brothers. By the time they were teenagers, 14, 16 years old, uh, Johnny, 14, Urban, 16, they were touring with a six-piece band. And they were busy. Simon played the sax. Wallace played guitar as well as singing with this band. With the Royal Record label, they released a couple of records. Uh, there was Faith. And there was Precious Winds. Precious Winds was probably uh, the more gospel-sounding record. And then they came out with their biggest hit called Lover's Prayer. Only guy's high is number 97. That's it. Maybe just a little too unsophisticated. Not, not crisp enough, not uh, polished enough to go top 40. But still, I, I don't consider this a bad record at all. This is, a, this is, a fun, this is, this is vintage soul and gospel. Wallace Brothers. Later on, they did record in Muscle Shoals, and they recorded a song called I Need Someone. This was later in the 60s, around 1968. They recorded a song that, oh, this gets really good. Let me bring the chart down so, so my face won't look like it's like I'm a ghost. <laughs> Lit up like a neon sign. I Need Someone, which uh, the Wallace Brothers cut in 68, was written by Dan Penn and Spooner Odom. Spooner Odom played the organ on When a Man Loves a Woman. We're talking classic muscle shows. Spooner Odom and Dan Penn wrote Cry Like a Baby by the Box Tops. Dan Penn also produced a letter by the Box Tops. And that's not all. Dan Penn and Spooner Odom also wrote I'm Your Puppet. Classic. Muscle Show Soul by James and Bobby Purify. And they wrote this song by the Wallace Brothers, I Need Someone, and would you know, the song bombed. We are, we are talking the A-team that went into this record. And it's still bombed for the Wallace Brothers. Eventually, they just gave it up. Let's just hang it up. 
but they left us with this one well this one hit wonder at number 97 this is the Wallace Brothers Billboard's Hot 100 September 5th 1964 at number 97 with Lover's Prayer <laughs> 